Hello guys, my name is Dennis Jensen and uh, this is a new tutorial about making textures and uh, in my opinion it's really easy to make textures all you need is kind of how to do it and then if you just look at reference you will be fine so it's not there's not that much into it it's more important that you have a nice model and nice UVs so probably some people will disagree with this but that's just the way I feel so what are we going to learn in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, prepare um, because we're going to take the a model that we made in some other videos and we also UV mapped it we're going to take that model and we're going to uh, import it into Mudbacks and in Mapbox, I'm going to show you how you can project maps onto the model. And the good thing about Mudbox is that you have an instant feedback on how the texture looks on the model. Let's say that you work in Photoshop and Maya, then you will have to make the textures in Maya and then import it into, Mo into uh, Maya. Wait, did I say that you have to make the textures in... Oh, I meant, I meant that you have to make the textures in Photoshop and then import it into Maya and then you can see how it looks but in Mudbox you can see it the very instant that you paint it on so that's really nice um, I'm going to show the projection and then after that I'm going to show how you can paint uh, because you can actually paint in Mudbox now it's not as good as in uh, Photoshop but it does the trick and what I kind of miss in Mudbox is that you can't really, um, what's it called, <coughs> you can't kind of deform, if you have a texture on it you can't scale it and stuff like that, you have to do that before you put it down on to the model. I'm also quickly going to introduce how you can make specular and reflection maps, and then in the end we're simply going to export it, and it's all very easy, the technical stuff about this is not that hard. It can be hard to actually paint the textures, but if you just look at a lot of reference, as I said, you will be fine. So, I would like to, uh, to start in Maya, and this is going to be the first part, and then in the other parts we will just move on into Mudbox. But the first part is going to be how I will export this mesh. So I have two meshes here in Maya, as you, oh sorry, as you can see, and these are completely identical except the UV maps. So let me first show you the first one, this was what we got in the last tutorial about UV mapping. And it has a problem, that's why I kept it, so I can show you. So this is basically the UV maps that we got from Worldkill, and it kind of looked fine, but there is one problem. And do you know what it is? If we compare, this is the model that I fixed. And it's almost the same. But the only thing I did was to move it a bit around. You can see these parts has more space in between them than these. And especially these parts has a very little space between them. So in order to make Mudbox work properly, you have to have a decent amount of space between your... Um, uh, shells, uh, yeah, shells. So you basically have to move it around and make more space. Um, and for uh, laying out the UV, Maya is really good compared to Roadkill because in Roadkill you can't really do anything. So if I want to rearrange it, I will just select a couple of faces. Then I'm going to hold Control, left click, and you can go to Shell, and you select the whole shell. And this is really good because then you can just move it around, it can be hard to select one piece without selecting the other and stuff like that. So that's just a neat little tool. Another thing is that when you have your final UV, uh, basically I just moved it around, you can do the same thing. And if you don't have a model or anything like that, I will provide this model on the side. So don't worry about that. If you go to uh, File, you will see here there is Export Selected to Mudbox. And that is really great because you don't have to think about 
oh my god, what do I need to export it to and stuff like that. So you can basically go to um, Windows, setting preferences, preferences, and I would head open. If you go down to applications, you just need to find your application path, and then you can uh, make a folder where it's going to be exported to. So I just called this the temp folder to export it to some folder that I know I can delete. So this is basically just a custom folder. Um, that's one thing you need to do. Another thing is if you go to settings, preference, plugin manager, you have to uh, click load it and auto load on FBX Maya because I believe it's that one because it's going to uh, export your model as a FBX file and then import it into mud into um, Mudbox afterwards. Um, yeah, and I forgot one thing. Uh, let me just show you. This is what I quickly did, and basically I just used some images to project the texture onto it. I painted a little bit in the air, but it was really easy to just to set up. I think I spent 20 minutes on this or something like that. So that was just a showcase to show you that. In the next part, we're going to get started with the projection. So don't go anywhere, and uh, I hope you're ready for making some awesome cool stuff.